We did just see some heavy construction equipment crossing a partially completed pipe culvert. The same principles apply to box culverts. That's right. Well, Brett's one of the site engineers here at the Oxley Highway, just west of Port Macquarie. Now, Brett, we've got some transverse drainage under the road here, but this culvert needs to be protected because there's more work going on. That's right, Peter. The box culvert hasn't been designed to take the loads of the heavy construction plant. So in accordance with R11, the contractor's gone away and done some calculations to work out how much fill needs to be placed here to protect the structure. So we've got 300 mils of select gravel and then an additional 500 mils of general fill to give us 800 mils of protection. It's interesting, isn't it? Because already the top of the culvert is 250 thick of concrete, but it's still not enough to protect it. That's correct. And here comes one of the big fellas now, and as it goes across the top of this box culvert, the load will come across there and it's transversed across the culvert so the point load won't crack it. But now that the drainage line is in, our job's not finished yet. Almost, but not quite. Uh, on completion of the construction of the drainage lines, but before we actually put the pavement in place, the contractor is required to uh, undertake a CCTV inspection of all the pipes. That involves putting a camera down the pipes to make sure that there's no damage, there's no leakages, there's no uh, material in the pipes that's been deposited that shouldn't be there. I have to say, Dennis, it's a, it's a complex journey, isn't it, from the first excavation to ending up with a, with a functioning drainage system. But I suppose the message is here, at every step along the way, there's going to be room for error. Yes, Peter, and any error can have serious consequences in terms of environmental outcomes or in terms of long-term durability. I know we shouldn't target one area because they're all critical, but, but from an outsider's point of view, I'd imagine that the foundations, the bedding, is really critical to get right. Yeah, and in practice, a lot of problems stem from there. But having said that, we need vigilance at every step. Thank you, Dennis, because when we measure the life of these systems, we're not talking decades, we're talking centuries.